a lot has led up to this day. Kind of feel like a year and a half in the making. We have built fences and catch pins and a deer barn and we've installed a deer chute and holding boxes and holding pins and just designed everything from the ground up to meet our needs. We have been planning and preparing and I just feel like working towards this day for a while now. So the fact that it's here is just super exciting. It's essentially preventive. Today's the day. Today is AI breeding day. We started the AI breeding process roughly 17 days ago when we inserted the cedar implants into our 13 does. A cedar is a hormonal implant that helps ready the does for ovulation. Once we pulled the cedar, we had exactly 65 hours until AI breeding time. And since we knew what time the vet crew would be on site, we had to back up our hours and pull the cedars at the appropriate time, which happened to be 1.30 in the morning. Brendan and I came out to the barn by ourselves, just the two of us, and pulled those cedars in the middle of the night while we left the kids snug and warm and hopefully staying in their beds in the house. And they did. So today, today is AI breeding day. We are ready. The girls are ready, hopefully ovulating, and we are set to run them through the barn. But let's do a quick flashback. Why do we need to AI breed in the first place? A lot of the bucks that we would like to breed to, uh, somebody like me could never afford to actually buy them. And because of our CWD uh, and TB certified herd, we can't just bring in a new animal, you know, say rent rent a buck for a, a breeding season and so um, yes yeah, so what are we supposed to do you know, humans have had uh, domesticated animals or been domesticating animals for a long time <clears throat> and one of the things that I think we figured out early on was that genetic diversity uh, was a pretty big deal if your uh, your gene pool gets a little too too uh, too close or the branches on the tree are a little too close together you know animals end up with uh, abnormalities and reproductive issues uh, things like you know calves with two heads that kind of stuff you know, a lot of that goes back toward um, genetics that are too similar and well and people are no different I guess I could say and in the wild you know there's there's ways that deer uh, young bucks will disperse to new areas and things like that to to keep that genetic pool from from becoming too tight, animals from being all related. But our deer are in a pen. So how does a deer farm keep bringing new genetics in without having to buy new bucks every year? AI, or artificial insemination, is a procedure that deposits sperm cells, or semen, into the reproductive tract of a female. There are a couple of ways to do this, but we have chosen to do it laparoscopically with the help of a vet team. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Research has shown that this method, which includes sedation of the deer, is much more successful due to the reduced stress on the deer as well as the accuracy of semen placement. We want to keep the well-being of our deer at the top of our priority list. This means handling them with care and interacting and handling them as little as possible. Don't worry, they will be rewarded with pumpkins and peanuts tomorrow. Each doe was ushered through the deer barn and caught in our Papa Deer chute. An experienced vet administered the medication to sedate the doe. Once she was completely asleep, and in most cases snoring, she was moved to the procedure cart where she was comfortably and securely settled. Next, 
she was given a quick haircut, then she waited for her turn with the vet. circuits outlets with the lights because I was afraid of all the ears. But I didn't. Can you tell if they've been AI'd before? Um, some you can, but not, not all the time. Can you tell if they've fawned before? Yeah. Is her head straight enough? Where'd my light go? Is it recording?
Everybody's breathing, right? I said everybody's breathing, right? Miss the white doe. There's Miss Amelia. After she was AI'd, each incision was stapled closed and sprayed with an antibiotic and protectant spray. Finally, she was carefully moved outside to her normal pen and given a shot of reversal medication to help her wake up. I'm deaf, not dumb. What? She's recording. Can you edit that out? <laughs> Becky, can you edit that out? That's not what the caption's saying. No. <laughs> I haven't done this one, right? No. Yeah, that's your last one. Last. Last out. Take home, take home. Oh, this is mine. That's a wake you up.